Hey everyone, welcome back to Lumber Capital Log Yard. In today's video, I'm going to be talking a little bit more about our zero waste strategy and what we do so that no piece of wood goes to waste. Now this is with little investment unless that investment has a high return. So anybody out there with a log yard that's smaller than ours or bigger, it doesn't really even matter, can do this. Uh, so it doesn't matter what size your business is because like I said, it's with little investment, everything is just reused. So let's get into it. But first, remember to like and sip coffee, I mean subscribe. A little sawdusty. So what does no waste mean? Well, for us, it means making sure that there is a use for the byproducts of running our mill and bells, along with some other things that I'll get into a little later. Oh, I keep on getting sawdust. But first, we'll start out with the mill byproducts and how we make money off of them. Now, I know I've went more in depth in past videos about what we use our sawdust for. Just to recap, we use our sawdust for animal bedding, we will sell all of our sawdust in a bin like this uh, under cover here so it doesn't get wet and this is, most of it is sold as animal bedding. Uh, excuse the noise that might be in the mic right now, Sammy is running a loader here and it's kind of hard to film when there's a bunch of noise happening. But work still has to be getting done even if I'm making YouTube videos so it is what it is. The second thing we use our sawdust for would be in our homemade compost uh, as the carbon source in it here. And we have oof, a lot of compost. So uh, you don't put a lot in, like I've said in previous videos, I know, but uh, it at least helps get rid of some of it. And if you guys have watched my mill videos, you know just how much sawdust that mill produces. Another byproduct of the mill would be our slab wood here. And you can see that this is a fairly big pile right now because it's in the dead of summer and nobody's wanting to use it for heating. But I promise you by the end of uh, the winter here, we most of this pile should be gone. We usually sell out of it pretty fast here once it gets a little bit colder here. Uh, people just use it as a cheap way of heating because it's not hardwood, uh, it's all hemlock. So we sell it for just really cheap, and that way people have a cheaper alternative. Now, I don't know if I have said this on any of my other videos, but we didn't actually originally want to do any firewood at all. And it kind of sprung out of the idea that a lot of the tree when you are cutting in the woods is actually wasted and when my dad went out there and when he first started getting into logging he realized that the top of the tree is actually left in the woods to just rot and this can be good for a lot of animals like deer who eat the leaves off of the tops of the trees when they are cut down but still a lot of the wood that could be used for stuff if you had the market for it and you knew how to market it uh, is just left there and so what we actually did was you have the first few logs of a good hardwood tree are all your sale logs right what the loggers go after when they are cutting in the woods but then you know the rest of the way up is just left so he thought why not take that it takes a little bit extra time and energy, but take that top wood there and buy a firewood processor that could process that and turn that into firewood. So we actually bring all those pieces to the log yard to be uh, processed on the Bell's firewood processor, which ended up being an extremely wise choice on my father's end because now half of our business is actually firewood. And that's what I mean by uh, we don't really put a lot of investment investing into it unless it has a high return and that certainly paid off. So this is what I mean by the tops of the trees. They're really gnarly, uh, gnarly. <laughs> They're really just a misshaped and stuff. And you'd think, oh, why don't you just put this on the mill and cut it? Surprisingly, sometimes we end up making more money cutting them into firewood than we do into boards. And I know that that's crazy, but if you don't have a market, for hardwood boards, but you do for firewood, then it ends up being more uh, valuable to us as firewood. 
and these are actually a little larger than usual. You, usually they're pretty small because they're the tops of the trees, more like this right here. But that's just for the hardwood, right? And my father cuts a lot of softwoods as well, like pine and hemlock, which he brings into the yard to be processed on the mill. So what do we do with the tops of those trees? So what we actually are doing is making field posts out of the top because they're too skinny to get any lumber out of, but we can use them for the field posts. And I'll show you this, it's just over here. So you can see that this log is very tiny. You could probably get like a four by four out of there if I put it on the mill, maybe, but it's a lot more valuable to us as a peeled post. Uh, and so what we'll do is we'll peel them and sell them. And I'll show you the finished product here. And this would be the finished product. It looks so much cooler than just putting in a regular six by six. I much prefer the look of these over a beam that was cut on the mill. And that's just another clever way we came up with selling something that would otherwise be put to no use. Another byproduct we produce a lot of comes off of the edger. And what we do, we can't do this with every piece, but with some pieces we can actually make stickers out of them. And I'll show you what I mean here. This is actually a pile that we have already sorted through and this is all the good stuff. So basically just pieces with two flat sides and it can have an area where there is spark but as long as there is a good 50 inches then that can be a sticker. So we'll cut that down on the buzz saw. Obviously we can't do this with every piece because some pieces have just bark the entire way along it and then that won't work. But we go through surprisingly a lot of stickers. Sometimes if customers have very large orders, they want to take stickers home with them so that they can sticker it uh, at their own house to keep well protected and keep from warping and all that. So uh, we, constantly run out of stickers so we are constantly cutting down more and having the edger uh, byproduct be used like that is another way to not waste uh, originally before we got the edger what we'd have to do is actually cut them on the mill purposely literally make one by twos or one by ones to use as stickers and just waste a log doing that so this way you already have it that's it for today's video. Thanks for watching. Remember to like and subscribe and follow us on Instagram at lumbercapital07 and I'll see you guys tomorrow.